my dear students assalam alaikum uh, so you know that we have discussed already the base catalyzed condensation reactions it means that we have discussed all those condensation reactions in which the carbon carbon bond is formed in the presence of base now we have to discuss the base catalyzed condensation sorry catalyzed uh, acid catalyzed condensation reactions it means now in this chapter in this lecture and the next lecture we will discuss the different methods to make the carbon carbon bond in the presence of an acid so we will discuss first of all the aldol condensation in the presence of acid so there are two different types of aldol condensation reactions the condensation reaction in the presence of acid and condensation reaction in the presence of base so aldol condensation reaction, reaction can also take place in the presence of acid so now we'll discuss the mechanism of the aldol condensation reaction as you know the aldol condensation reaction takes place between two aldehydes ketones aldehydes and ketones so first one topic is aldol condensation reaction of the aldehydes and ketones which can undergo self condensation it means all those aldehydes and ketones which have alpha hydrogen alpha carbon and alpha hydrogen all these aldehydes which have alpha carbon so they can self condense it means when you add only the aldehydes and the alpha carbon they will uh, condense with each other and make the carbon carbon bonds so we will discuss the self condensation of aldehyde and ketones under the acid conditions so when we carry out the reaction in the presence of acid acid performs two important functions and due to this reason the reaction will start the first one uh, the important reaction important function of the acid is that it will increase the reactivity of the carbonyl group how you can see that here we have an acid aldehyde when you treat it with the acid acid react with this carbon will h double bond goes to this oxygen and this carbon has a positive charge now it means that this carbon group is now ready to um, uh, receive another carbonyl group so now its activity has increased it has a more positive charge here and the second one the acid catalyzes the enolization of the carbonyl compound so what happen that this acid aldehyde react with acid another another molecule of acid aldehyde react with acid the acid react with o the double bond comes back and the proton leaves from here the alpha carbon the proton alpha carbon leaves from here and this aldehyde is converted into enol form you can see that ac proton from one here leaves and proton on the oxygen comes so this one is called enol now one we have one aldehyde with which carbon has a positive charge and other molecule aldehyde in which we have a enol form now when this happens they will react to each other the oxygen charge comes to this carbon and this double bond this carbon then attack on this carbon actually this carbon has a negative charge when you can make the tautomeric form this one you can see this one has as this one like this one and see a double bond this negative charge now this negative charge attack on this carbon in this sense and the oxygen uh, double bond comes here so in the third step this proton leaves and you will have a then same uh, the product which will obtain in the presence of base the product has a hydroxy and uh, carbonyl compound and in the presence of acid the hydroxyl from here and the carbon from here leaves what leaves and you will have alpha beta unsaturated compound in case of acid aldehyde we will get a crotone aldehyde this is a crotone aldehyde so in this way in the presence of acid the aldol condensation reaction of an aldehyde will take place okay now we we'll discuss the second type of the aldol condensation reaction as you know that the aldol condensation reaction also takes place between ketones now we will discuss we will take the example of ketone in the presence of acid it takes place and we'll get the aldol condensation product in presence of acid so when you get ketone as you can see the acetone so the same two types of uh, reaction takes place first this acid will react with this carbonyl group and the positive charge comes here double bond goes and we will have a positive charge on this carbon so this acetone molecule is now ready for an inner group to attack on this carbon it is activated and now the second molecule of ketone uh, the acid will react with o to give you oh and one uh, alpha proton is removed and double bond comes here and show this is got the enol form of ketone so what happens when two molecules are in the same medium this enol will attack on this carbon 
and this uh, oxygen molecule comes here we have a double part here and here double bond will be removed and this carbon and carbon bond is formed the alpha carbon this ketone and the carbon and carbon of other ketone a bond will be formed so what happens that now we have a uh, double bond here so this proton will be removed and we will get this product in which we will have a one carbonyl group and one hydroxyl group so the present acid is hydroxyl from here and the hydrogen from this alpha carbon group and we will have a double bond so when you carry out reaction between the uh, acetones then two molecules of acetone will get mesetile oxide this compound is called mesetile oxide now the interesting thing in ketones is that the with the ketones the reaction will not stop here why because we will still have another alpha carbon carbon in which we have a alpha proton so what happens that this mesetile oxide further react and one acid will attach on this carbon carbon to and to make it okay its valency four this proton will be removed and at the end we will have uh, this compound in the form of enol now this enol will get another molecule of acetone which is present and which is activated already so this carbon now makes a bond with this carbon a bond is formed this proton in the first step is removed and the second step this hydroxyl and proton from here is removed and we will have another double bond so this type of compound as a final product is obtained this is called the furon so furon and mesetal oxide are formed and in the reaction if not is uh, stopped so reaction will move away and you will get at that alone so in this way the ketone forms a double addition product uh, with the help of the acid catalyzed addition so how the acid catalyzed addition reactions have a lot of limitations many problems due to which this acid catalyzed addition reaction is not preferred so um uh, it has a lot of problems so we prefer always the base catalyzed condensation reaction due to following reasons number one the reaction cannot be applied to aldehydes and ketones having no alpha hydrogen it means almost all the aldehyde ketones having alpha hydrogen they will react in the presence of acid to form the condensation product secondly yield is very low as for the condensation product we have yield from 50 to 70% in base but in acid we have only 30 40% yield mostly cases the yield is very low so we will prefer the base catalyzed condensation products and the third one is the ketones having alpha hydrogen on both alpha carbons they will react further as we have seen in the last example so in this way the yield becomes very very poor because two products are formed instead of one so due to these limitations the acid catalyzed condensation reaction are not preferred and mostly the base catalyzed condensation products are formed and they are preferred okay now we will discuss the third case of the aldol condensation reaction under acid conditions first case was when we use only the aldehydes second case was when we use only the ketones and the third case is cross condensation when you use different molecules of aldehydes ketones under the acid conditions to give you the product the problem is that when you use the both the aldehydes and ketones that has the alpha hydrogen so what happens then aldehydes will also react with itself and also react with ketones the ketone also react with itself and also react with aldehyde so as a result four different types of products are formed and this is not useful because you know when different more than one products are obtained it is very difficult to separate them so this is useless to uh, use different aldehyde and ketones having alpha hydrogen however when we carry out a reaction between aldehydes having no alpha hydrogen and a ketone having alpha hydrogen then what happens that the ketone will form the enol and uh, the aldehyde will not make uh, the enol so the um, ketone will enol form will attack on the aldehyde and this way bond is formed and one major product is obtained for example uh, consider this case in which we have this sensile aldehyde ortho hydroxy benzyl aldehyde and the acetophenone so what happens that this uh, um, aldehyde has no alpha hydrogen here within this carbon we have no hydrogen so when acid react with this one so what happens that this is activated and in all form is not formed from aldehyde but activated form is formed and when the acid will react 
and this acid reacts with this one. So this type of enol is formed from benzaldehyde. Proton from this carbon is removed, and proton becomes a type of oxygen. Now what happens that this oxygen comes back, and this carbon make a bond for this carbon, and this way carbon carbon bond is formed. And in the same acidic conditions, hydroxyl from here, hydrogen from here is removed, and alpha beta unsaturated compound is obtained. So in cross condensation product of aldehyde organization under HD conditions we have to use one aldehyde having no alpha hydrogen and a ketone having the alpha hydrogen in this way the ketone will form the enol product aldehyde will become activated and then ketone molecule carbon will attack on this aldehyde and a product is formed so this is a useful method of formation of cross condensation in which aldehydes and ketone are used for the load concession of acid catalyzed reaction.